The Miss Texas pageant is more than just crowns, heels, sequins, and sashes. You might think from examples like Honey Boo Boo or Toddlers and Tiaras that it's all cutthroat and evil. It's nothing like that. Oh, there's oh, no yeah. ripping of the dresses. No. I love that how we become a sisterhood and not just contested. For the ladies competing at Miss Texas, it's about coming together to make a difference. We each have a personal platform and we're advocates for a cause. This is Jessica, a contestant who actually lives her platform. My platform is CP, creating possibilities for people with disabilities because I have cerebral palsy. Growing up, Jessica wore a leg brace and went through multiple surgeries. Cerebral palsy still affects her fine motor skills and balance, which makes walking in heels a challenge. But despite her physical limitations, she has won the talent award at seven local pageants. When I'm singing, I don't have a disability. When you got the whole audience and tears are coming down because of the song she's singing and the voice she has, it's just incredible. The crown she wears on stage is not just an accessory. I know I have more influence with a crown on my head, and I don't want anybody else with a disability to dwell on it. There are several contestants competing who either have a disability like myself or a chronic illness. We have a contestant who is deaf, one with heart issues, a cancer survivor, and one who had a stroke. I think it's amazing that we're all able to compete in a mainstream beauty pageant. I don't let it define who I am, but I let it enhance who I am. Erin Zeller, reporting.